The craze for Pac-Man began in 1980, almost 40 years ago. Let's see if we can turn Pac-Man into an I.O. game fit for 2018. The game will work like this. Players will spawn in as ghosts or Pac-Men, also known as dinos. Ghosts aim to eat dinos and dinos eat food to gain points. If a dino eats a power-up, dinos can eat ghosts for a brief period. I started out by getting multiplayer working, and I added a few of my maze tiles in the background. I'm using Node.js and Socket.io for the multiplayer server, and Phaser for the game framework. I started generating a maze, but it took a long time to orient the maze tiles correctly. Here's the same maze with the tiles oriented properly. I generate the maze on the server, and then I send it to the client when they connect. To generate the maze, I choose a point, choose a random direction, and place a wall there. I try to do this 8 times at most before moving on to new points and doing it again. I started placing restrictions on where the user could move, and it worked but it looked very choppy. I then realized that Pac-Man saves the user's input for a brief period and prevents them from turning directly into a wall. I implemented this by saving an array of directions that the user tried to turn and then move the most recent successful direction if there is one. I added a typical IO game login screen, leaderboard, score, and a compass that will be used by ghosts to track down dinos. I added cheating prevention where the server checks if a player tries to go through a wall. I started adding ghosts to the game. If there's a lot of dinos on the server, players will spawn as ghosts, and vice versa. A lot of multiplayer features like ghosts killing dinos are rather simple. If a player is of type ghost and it collides with a dino, increase the ghost's score and kick the dino off the server. The game is practically done. I made the leaderboard work and I added food and power-ups. Pay attention to how the compass works. At this point, I posed an important question. Let's see what it looks like. The opponent should always be sending out their position, but if they don't do it frequently, we should be predicting where they're going to move next. Multiplayer games do this by maintaining the velocity of the opponent, then carefully adjusting it based on the authoritative data coming from the server. While movements won't be perfectly accurate, they'll be smooth. Since we know the opponent has a velocity to the right, we can maintain it smoothly. 
If the opponent suddenly changes directions, we'll simply make it jump to the authoritative position. I improved performance greatly by making a chunk system. I've zoomed out to show you how chunks load. I used a tool called Cordova to turn my web app into an Android app. I put it on Google Play and it's only 3 megabytes. Let's watch some gameplay.